Hannity and Combs. We're glad you're with us. I'm Sean Hannity. And coming up tonight are illegal aliens actually being helped into the United States by their country's leaders. We'll tell you about this shocking story. Leading our debate across America on this Wednesday, Mexico has announced it will provide up to 200,000 survival kits to those planning to illegally cross the border into the U.S. Will this encourage illegal immigration or is it necessary as a step to save lives? Joining us now from Washington, Fox News political analyst Linda Chavez, and she is the president of the Center for Equal Opportunity. Also in Washington, Dan Stein from the Federation for American Immigration Reform. You know, Linda, I'm such a fan of yours, I hate disagreeing with you. And I, I think we will disagree here. And, and this is coming from a conservative who has expressed on numerous occasions my admiration for the courage that people show when they risk their lives crossing borders, leaving families behind, getting in broken down boats and shark infested waters because they want the dream that America offers. But for the government of Mexico to give them assistance kits so that they will succeed in law breaking is. I don't understand that. Well, I think what they're trying to do is to save lives. There were about 500 uh, people who died last year mm -hmm. trying to cross uh, illegally into the United States. Now, I happen to agree with you, Sean, that there are probably better ways to, to, to do this. And I frankly think this is a very poor substitute for a better immigration policy. I prefer that the people who are coming here illegally be allowed to come legally as guest workers and that the government of Mexico and the government of the United States sit down and work out a workable plan. Well, whereby we can actually have the workers that America wants right. uh, mm -hmm. and have them come here legally. Right. Uh, but, but there is a humanitarian issue here. Uh, frankly, um, I have mixed feelings about what the government of Mexico is doing. If this were a private organization, a charitable organization doing it, I would have no problems with it. Uh, I think it probably is not a good right. signal for the government of Mexico I, to be doing it. It sends the wrong signal. I, all right. I, I think we agree. There were 490 people who died in crossings last year. That is an unacceptable number. Nobody wants that to occur, but to assist them in, in their quest to enter this country illegally, not respecting our sovereignty and the laws of the land is, is not the right approach. Why don't we just come up with a better approach and a better answer to the problem? Patrolling, seeking out people that are in some type of need, assisting them, but also bringing them back so that they will respect the laws of the United States. Well, and, and I would expect that you're going to get some response from uh, the Bush administration. It seems to me that you can't have a system whereby one government is assisting its citizens to break the laws of another country. And so I would expect that there will be some pressure brought to bear here. But it yeah. also requires the Bush administration to come up with a new immigration policy because the one we have now is right. clearly not working. There are 9 right. million people here illegally yeah. in the United States. States. And, I, and I think a lot of them, when they get here, there's always the hope that there'll be another amnesty and that they'll be allowed to stay. And look, uh, Dan, I, I, I agree with a lot of what Linda is saying here. I, I really respect people that want a better life. When you look at what people do because they want the opportunity that America has to offer, I mean, I can't blame them. I'd like to think if I was in their shoes, I'd do the same thing knowing that you, you have nothing but poverty and no opportunity around you and you want a better life and you see your kids are suffering, I don't blame them for doing that, but there's got to be a better system. Either we, we invite them in, as Linda says, or if we catch them breaking the law, we've got to send them back. Well, Sean, I think we all should celebrate the idea, the spirit of, of entrepreneurship and innovation as people try to improve their condition. But in the end, you know, if Vicente Fox wants to improve the condition of Mexicans, he should be encouraging people in this country working illegally who've acquired job skills working in food processing, construction, hotel, restaurant, and maybe even manufacturing to come back home and help attract capital and build that country's future. The, the President uh, Fox's direction that he has chosen is to try to encourage as many people as possible to come to this country illegally and to demand that this, co this country, uh, George Bush, provide not only free medical care and subsidy college tuition but driver's licenses and a rolling amnesty for everybody who comes and I uh, this is Alan I don't think this is all what's happening here I totally see it a different way and Linda welcome to the vast left-wing conspiracy good to have you on my <laughs> side tonight but Dan this idea what they do is with this program it's, it's called uh, leave healthy return healthy they do encourage them to return and in a much more healthy way and they uh, have a list of clinics that don't require social security numbers uh, their uh, TB tuberculosis sufferers are uh, given cards documenting their last doctor's visit. So there's less chance of spread of disease once they get into America. That's just good public policy, isn't it? 
Yeah, and look, Alan, the Mexican government is doing everything it can to move as many people out of the country as fast as possible. That's why we've got millions and millions of people from Mexico here illegally. They do absolutely nothing to encourage people to return. They're, and, and, and everything that Vicente Fox is saying now, and frankly, when George Bush uh, lets him get away with this, he's actually being, he's fostering part of this problem, is suggesting that the solution to illegal immigration is just to stand there and count them as they run across the border. What, what we want to see is the Bush administration come back with a forceful, comprehensive immigration control policy includes their enforcement at the site, uh, deportation procedures that will work to make it clear to uh, the Mexican government that it's all, Mexico's responsibility that, to take care of her own some people. Some of those actions might be very good, but isn't it true that these people are encouraged to return and they return in a healthy way? And up They're until now, up until return. now, it's called leave healthy, return healthy. And up until now, many people coming back were extorted. Uh, police guards would extort them for money. That is part of this program to stop that from happening. You know that was going on, and Alan, th th Alan, that doesn't Alan. encourage them to come back the way it's been up until now. Alan, the Mexican government is encouraging a felony under U.S. law of coming in repeatedly illegally, and in doing so, I mean, what are we going to do if they start sending military convoys to accompany their nationals through the desert or through uh, San Diego? Are we going to say, well, that's, I mean, what we're, we're not doing talking is about effectively what if you're extrapolating now. That's not what we're talking about here. Linda, well, you, look Alan, like you want to jump you are, in. Go ahead. You are crossing uh, Alan, the line uh, between, uh, between what makes good sense and well, sanctioning illegal behavior. Well, you just changed what's going on. Linda, go Alan, ahead. Alan, I think, I think the, the, the problem here is that Dan Stein and, and Fair and, and the others who are opposed to the high levels of immigration that we have now would like to limit the number of people coming here legally. And what that has done is we have very strong That's enforcement right. in some places right. now uh, along the border, along San Diego, exa uh, for example. But what's happened is because we have that enforcement in certain areas, populated areas, the immigrants are now coming in much more dangerous areas across the desert in Arizona, New Mexico, and right. elsewhere, and that's why they're dying. Right. Dan, you very and, and I don't think that's, I don't think that policy is, is sustainable. Right. Dan, you've we got a whole other agenda. Workers. You want to stop legal immigrants as well. You don't even want that. I mean, so you've got a whole other agenda going on here. Well, the, the, the point is we're talking about illegal immigration, and if we don't back up what we do at the border with comprehensive interior enforcement, we're never going to stop illegal immigration. Right. It's not just from Mexico. It's coming from all Dan, over the world in record numbers. We've got to say goodbye. Thank you, Dan. You get the last word tonight. Good to see you, Linda.